everybody. Welcome back to the O20 series. This is Free Sky Steve, and this is episode 9, where we're talking about trims. I'm not going to try to raise my voice too much, because for whatever reason, I start to cough if I talk too loud. So I'm sorry if I'm more muted this episode. Also, you might notice that Sensor all loss. this is different, and you ask yourself, when do we change that? We change that in a future episode. I have come back from the future and re-recorded two episodes. This one in episode six. Episode six was about mechanical trims and the plane was different. I hope you maybe didn't notice it and didn't know what happened. I also later on changed when we talk about uh, setting the um, throttle kill. I throttle cut. I put on switch G in, in the original video. <clears throat> Excuse me, and later on I switched it to switch F. So there we are. I did all my confessions and I feel better now. Um, okay, we're talking about trims. We're going to get into this. A lot of this stuff is really, I don't know, a lot of it's minutia. So I'm going to get through as quickly as possible. I went into models and then I went into trims. And I'm going to go down to the next one here, which is elevator. And this is what it looks like typically when you have it set up. It has a range of 25%, which means that it is about 25% full travel. If your plane needs more trim than 25%, you have something really, really off. And you need to adjust it before on the ground. You need to check your CG. You need to check a lot of other things. Something's off and you need to look at it. So 25% is a maximum. Uh, you can, trim if you center. wanted to, go trim higher, center. but trim center. it's to your peril trim and center. you can make it go lower. I pretty much trim find center. I just leave it where it's at. This is set to fine. I find that its course is more along the line of what you find in most RC. Uh, really depends on the size of the plane, but course is where I set everything at. You can also set custom, and custom will change by whole percentages. So one, two, three percent. Every time we hit the trim button, it will change by three percent. I th find course to be fine. The other one that might be of interest if you're dealing with kids, this whole disable thing is for your trim. If you have a trainer radio, you might want to, if they're not going to be setting trims at all for any reason, which I don't see why they would, or maybe if it does need to be, to be trimmed, you should do it yourself and then go and disable it because you give radios to kids or even adults sometimes and you walk away for a moment or two and, and they're fidgeting and they're, and they're moving the trims. And so you want to turn that off if at all possible. Um, typically, you'll see the mode to easy mode. We're going to switch that over to independent flight modes per channel. This is how we do it independent trims per each different flight mode. We talked about flight modes in the last episode. If the sound of the radio is annoying when you set trims and you can look to see on, let me show you what I'm talking about. Go to the home screen. You can see right here, right there, that those are your trim settings. If you go into that, you can, oh, we're elevator. Why we, we should be independent trims per flight mode. Okay, when you go back to, this is the way I should like to have it set up. If you turn audio off, it won't make that those annoying trim sounds. If that annoys your, you or other people, maybe you just want to turn it off. Typically, I, I fly by volume, so by radio talks to me, I don't care. That doesn't bother me, so... I've never felt the need to turn this off. Okay, so we kind of went through what all these things do. Um, we have different control surfaces. You have throttle and rudder. The thing about throttle and Sensor rudder loss. is that on an electric plane, you're most likely not going to be trimming your throttle. And on your rudder, eh, maybe oh, we're talking about your first flight. If As long as your rudder's straight, it's probably going to be fine especially for your first flight. What you want to do is you want to be able to get that plane up in the air and you want to get it set so that you're flying around at about 30 to 40 percent throttle on a somewhat calm day and then you let go of the sticks and you want to make sure that 
the sticks if it, the plane falls to the left you give it some right aileron if the plane starts to gain altitude you, you give it some that down elevator things like that the goal of the first maiden flight is in high rates or our example in cruise mode you should be able to at some point when you're done with the trims be able to let go of the sticks and the plane will fly straight and level and if you do that then you did a good job so that's what we're trying to do now the one thing that gets a little bit frustrating for people is you're sitting there in your main flight and you're freaking out because you're holding the elevator back a little bit and maybe giving a little bit of ailerons to one direction and you're looking for these trim knobs and meanwhile you have a left hand that's doing nothing and you got a couple trims there one is your elevator I mean sorry one is your rudder and one is your throttle well on electric plane in particular if you only have four trims what you can do is you can turn your throttle stick to elevator because throttle goes up and down elevator goes up and down so it's the same trim just in a different location and then you would change your ailerons I'm sorry change your rudder to ailerons so it, your rudder stick is now trimming your ailerons so that's the other control surface and on your maiden flight you can easily do your cross trims makes that whole trimming the plane so much easier what if you want to use the aileron stick what would happen to that it would still trim ailerons in this particular example so that's a really handy thing uh, the other one that's kind of interesting and some people really okay you can add extra trims here if you add this if you have let's say a t5 and t6 like an x18 or, or an x20 pro or x20 rs and let's say you're flying around and um okay yeah you have a, a perfect example would be something like a um one of those cameras that move around fpv cameras that move around by head tracker and you kind of notice that every once in a while it gets off of center you can use that for dialing in your head tracker uh so you'd use extra trims for something like that that's about the only thing i could really think of for that using the extra trims um okay now we're going to go down to we talked about cross trims the last one is instant trims and so what instant trims do is we're talking about that maiden flight we're in high rates and let's just say you're holding the sticks and let's say you're horribly off on your setup and you're holding the stick back and you're holding it to the left and maybe you're giving a little bit of rudder in one direction whatever reason you got this thing flying straight and level it's perfect you can use the switch position so for example i would use switch g up no actually yeah switch h let's just say that it's switch e up is the one you want to use so you can reach over when you flip that switch e up you can let go of the sticks and the plane is now completely trimmed and if you like it what you do after the flight's over is you select move trims to sub trims and you say yes and <clears throat> people tend to love this I mean absolutely love this feature I think it's one of the most dangerous things you could do um, for me it it doesn't well I would say it doesn't work but it's when I set trims I want to be able to fly around with the trims for a few minutes then I want to be able to go back and change them again and maybe in a few more minutes change it again just till I get it dialed in perfectly um, so I'm into fine trimming and I find that the instant trims are kind of more of a rough trim but some people make it work and they they have nothing but luck on that first time they flip the switch and everything's perfect for me what I would want to do is use these trims 
and the subtrims. So let's talk about the benevolent trinity of RC, which is trims are something you set in the air, subtrims are something you set in the ground, and mechanical trims is something you set with the radio off. Okay, so those are the three things. So we Sensor talked about loss. getting that first flight. We get up in the air, we get ourselves into the cruise mode or high rates, and you do only one mode. You're not going to trim all your flight modes on your maiden flight. You're just going to do one flight mode, and that's the one you're going to work with. You take it up, and you get the sub, you get it going, and the example I gave was that elevator. Let's say you needed to be 10% off. It, it's You're holding back the elevator, and you find out that it's by about 10%. You can move the sub trim, the trim, to sub trim and you would say yes and then your sub trims would change and the elevator would go back to zero as far as the trim is concerned it, it would say trim center when you try to move it up and down one time and so that's great you're back to having your elevator set to set back to zero and then your sub trim is changed to whatever it is and then later on you can go back after the plane is unplugged and you can look to see that your elevator is up like two or three degrees, you can let go of the clevis, open the clevis, and then you go back in with the clevis off. You can lock your control surface somehow. Some people use pins to lock that elevator up. And then you, after that, what you do is you reset your sub trim to zero on your elevator, and then you put the club is back in, but it has to be in that exact position. You have to make it just stretch and just be about the perfect amount. And with that, you have a mechanical trim. So we took it from a trim to a sub trim to a mechanical trim. That's why I call it the benevolent trinity of RC. And with that, we've covered a lot tonight. And I do thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and uh, uh, trust me, the rest of these episodes are great. You're going to love them. There's some really good stuff coming up. I'm glad I had an opportunity to come back and redo this one because this stuff works amazing. And once you start playing with it, you're going to be just convinced yourself, like, where have I been all my life? Thanks for watching.